Hello, today we are going to set up a custom rate for our automatic sales tax, right? So automatic sales tax covers standard rates and actually through the um, tax categories for products and services, it does cover a large amount of special rates, but there are still some rates that, you know what, it's not in there. So you may need to create your own custom rate for those items or services or whatever it is that you're selling. In this case, in our uh, example today, I'm going to create a rate for cannabis, uh, which is a big thing across the country, a uh, special rate on the sales of uh, recreational cannabis. So we'll do that today. All right, so let's show you how to do this. We're going to hop into our sales tax center. So we go to taxes, sales tax. We're going to go to the sales tax center, and we're looking to set up a custom rate. So we're going to go to sales tax settings. And in here, you'll see the different tax agencies I've set up. And down here where I have nothing is custom rates. So we're going to add a rate. Now we can add a single rate or we can add a combined rate. So it just depends on what your needs are. I'm going to add a combined rate because I'm going to do um, the cannabis tax. Um, I should actually, and I can't even smell that. Can't talk today. Can't spell. So I'm just going to go with weed. Um, so we are going to set that up. So we got a Massachusetts state level rate um, of 6.25%. And you ha you're either going to have to set up the agency here, um, or if you already have it set up, you're going to associate this with an agency. And the reason is, is because when your reports are generated, you're going to obviously need to know how much you've collected of this weed tax. And when your reports are generated, you're going to need to see it um, you know, it needs to be associated with an agency because you need to know to re where to report it to. Um, and this is just the weed component, right? So I'm just going to, I guess, call it that. Again, we're going to associate with Massachusetts. And this is 10.75%. So we can save this. Um, and now you can see we have this rate down here. 17% rate. And so let's go to an invoice and see what it looks like now when I try to go and use this. So create a new invoice. Again, this is the Rethink Invoice Experience. If it looks unfamiliar to you, there's also an old layout up here, which is the classic invoice experience. But we'll use this one and see what it looks like here. Um, and so we're just going to I'm gonna put weed there. I'm going to click on tax. What you're going to see here is no, no tax. So what's going on? So when I edit this, and it was telling me no tax, which is interesting, because I did click the tax button, right? So let's take a look at that. Oh, I have no money. <laughs> if it costs nothing, there is no tax, right? All right, so there we go. We've got our tax. We have our, our general rate of tax. So let's go in here, and we can click... Um, we can see what's going on. So there's no special rate being applied to it. And I've got this little box up here that's come up now that I have created a custom rate. Uh, I didn't have any before. So if you look at an earlier video, you're not going to see this box. But now QBO knows I created a custom rate. So I'm going to get this drop down box and I can click on the custom rate that I created. And now we have that 17% of, of tax applying to this transaction, to my sale of weed. And um, it's pretty cool, right? So I can go back here and you can see, oh, if I pick the wrong thing, I can go back and pick just a standard rate. So that's what it looks like in the Rethink invoice. And I'm actually gonna switch to an old layout now. Uh, for those of you that may be using the classic invoice and we'll do it and show it to you there. Uh, looks a little bit different. So, to pick out my Massachusetts customer again, put in our weed, remember to put an amount this time, and click on that tax box, see we have the uh, standard rate of tax, and here we have this drop down. So based on location, it means it's using automatic sales tax, so it's using the sales tax rate for this location, for this ship to address. Uh, and it's a single rate state, Massachusetts generally, right? So we're, we're not going to see anything riveting there with when our address changes. But what we can do is we're going to go down here and we can pick our custom rate we set up. And there we go. We see that we get the 17% tax here. So 
I hope this helped you today. You can set up any kind of amount of custom rates that you want. Um, again, single, single rate or the combined rate. And then when you go look at the reports, you'll actually see it broken out on the report. Um, not going to dive into that right now, but I'm going to go and do another video about reports um, at some point because I know that's really helpful for people because they're really important. You need to be able to see a report of your sales tax liability in order to file your sales tax returns or your weed tax returns. So thanks for watching today. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in another video again soon.